Hello everybody and yes, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. We can't end it on that note. No way. After losing in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, TJ is back here. Maybe with the Oilers, I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here. For this video I will, but I think the main point of the comment section in this video is gonna be for you guys to kind of debate whether I should stay here or whether I should dip. But, before we get to that, let me go ahead and show you our lines, which have really improved somehow. We have Marner, we grabbed Nico Heischer, and we also got Nikita Kucherov. I don't know how our GM managed to pull that off, but here we are. And on top of that, we also have Bradley in the lineup. And he's 86 overall, even though he was a healthy scratch all of last year. Nuge up to 87 on the third line. Holloway gonna be on the third line. We have Laffy Taffy, 91 overall on the second line. Who does that? Defensively, this is where we struggle a little bit. Our top pair is all right. We got Pesci and Nurse, solid. But then the second pair with Matheson and Zadorov, eh. Clefbaum and Alexiev, eh. But that's okay, because we make up for it with 95 overall, three ability, 23-year-old TJ, who is still a rookie. I guarantee it. Wow, they're actually not putting us in for the season home opener. That is disrespect. Karel Vamelka, the newcomer, gets the start, and he blows it. Shocker. Maybe that's my slap on the wrist for passing the puck out. Very well could be. However, I would like to say that Darnell Nurse had every chance in the world to go every other way and decided to charge straight into the player who then took the puck off of him and scored. And also, why did TJ like turn sideways? When I watched it back, I was too shocked at the time to notice. But my goalie literally just turned sideways for some reason. Anyway, they beat us fair and square. We're back and we're gonna try the third period format again because as I saw in one comment that will probably be featured at the start of this video, this format is probably better in that our team scored one goal through three games. So let's get this game started here. The Buffalo Sabres, this will be TJ's first game of the season after once again, devastating loss last year. Early power play, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it, one nothing. Nuge gets us on the board, second period. Okay, so I've changed my mind. We're not jumping into this one because this is an absolute gong show. What? So I guess that's the game's way of telling me that I'm a clown. Of course they have Dreisaitl as well, you know? Who else would it be? McDavid? Let's go ahead, sim the overtime. Thank you, Pesci. So not a great save percentage to start off the year. Gonna just come out and say it. Let's check the three stars. News with four points. Let's go, Brad. I do want to fly through the season. So I think we're gonna do the season in three episodes as we have been doing it, I believe. I'm trying to remember what the game breakdown was. I think it was like 28 or 29 games per video. Obviously, I'm not playing all those, but we sim a big chunk and play three. It's kind of the format that I've been going with for a bit now, and we're gonna stick to it. We have the Detroit Red Wings now. Let's go ahead and see if this one will be worth jumping into. It is 2-2 after one. Shots are 10-12. Incredible. Second period? Nice. All right, and the shots for them are back up to a situation that looks good on the stat sheet. We're going in. I also feel like my mic has kind of been having some issues. I don't know if it is the microphone. Well, I don't think it's the microphone itself, you know, like the actual physical microphone, but I wonder if it could be Audacity, because that's the audio software I use. They had an update recently. I don't know if that would cause anything, if it's just my computer, because I built this thing, I don't know, like probably Anywhere between five and seven years ago now, so I think it's finally kind of starting to show its age. So it could be audacity, but I've also noticed that... Amazing. What a start. I think I did take him out, though, with the right pad, so you know what? I'm still gonna say that that was a W situation. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by Detroit scoring on me, what I was saying is I don't remember now. Oh, I think it came back to me. So when I'm editing, sometimes the mic makes a weird sound. And, you know, I go and play it back to see if it was actually like that or if it was just the editing software sort of skipping a beat, doing something weird. And sometimes it is just the software. So I don't know. I really don't know because I've seen a comment saying that my mic has been kind of cutting out sometimes. So let me know. Is basically the TLDR. Oh, what a hit. Big fan of that. Hopefully we do step up our physicality this year. 
I think there were some games in the playoffs last year where we were pretty physical, but I would like our team to just be bruisers out there. Nice. There's a big hit. And see what comes of it? A Mitchell Marner Donglay goes backhand forehand and defeats who... Oh! And we're celebrating in the crease. Also, one of our players went through the net, I think. Here we go. Backhand. Boom. Casa. Get wrecked, son. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Behind the net. I'm going for it. Here we go. The series was going to end, so I might as well try to send it while I can. Timothy Jimothy. He's dead. That was terrible. <laughs> that was nowhere near the net. But I think that still means that it is possible. Because he kind of yeeted the puck there. All right. Protect and boom. Look at this guy. It's uh, rookie versus rookie. No. Ooh, he caught me good there. All right. We got some little bit of ground. To There's no way I'm going to lose my first fight against this guy. Get real. No way. All right. He's going to punch. Dodge. Thank you. Not going to lie. Scared for a second there. Only a second. We got some four-on-four four Axiom. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Glove save. Easy peasy. And then we're just going to do exactly what cost us the Stanley Cup. Great. And almost score on our own net. All right, fine. Maybe that one was a little dramatic. But I really don't understand why the players insist on cutting across the crease. Blows my mind. Ooh. Couldn't quite catch that one, but got just enough of it to send it in a different direction. There we go. Puck is out. Marner. Manages to just easily weasel by 5-2 there. Love to see it. Nico, great pass off the boards, except it wasn't. What a goal! There we go. Two goal lead. About seven minutes remaining. I like the way our team's playing. Where was this offense... In the last three games of the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Tape to tape. Mitch Marner. I don't know what he's looking at there. But it was kind of creepy. And boom. What a goal. Casa was lost out there. Will somebody please get this man a GPS? Oh yeah? Ha. <laughs> you think that's going to defeat me? You're right. It probably will. If he scored after that. That would have been... The coolest thing he's ever done. Completely teed up one of our players. Dropped him like a two-foot putt. And then almost ripped a Geno right after. That would have been immaculate. Sorry I had to ruin that for you, but I'm also not sorry. I don't know what I was doing there. But tending the goal was not it. Wow. Well, thankfully, we have the insurance marker. And thankfully, this is only a regular season game. So I'm not that concerned about it, but... What was I doing? Kaminsky, he's in. Why did I back up so much? I'm playing really bad right now, and somehow we're still making the saves that I need. Well, not all of them, that's for sure. But we're still making some saves. Probably could have saved those other two as well if I wasn't playing like an absolute jabroni. Clean draw win for the wings. They're trying to set up here, but Borgo has other plans. Are we just going to take that? Can somebody scrap this man, please and thank you. Actually, I know the NHL, I think, pretty recently had a meeting with the GMs and they voted on the whole fighting after a clean hit thing. And I'm sort of on the fence about it. You know, on one side, yeah, I feel like you shouldn't have to fight if you make a clean hit because it's part of the game. You know, you're allowed to hit people. So why should you have to answer if you just rock somebody fair and square? But on the other side of things, you know, then you kind of... Show that player, like, hey, we're not messing around here. If you're going to throw the body around, then you're going to have to answer the bell. So, that's why I'm on the fence. I don't really know which way I'm leaning right now. I would also be lying right to your face if I said I didn't like the more old school physical hockey. Like, when hockey games start getting physical, those are my favorite. Obviously, it should go without saying. I don't want people getting hurt, but... You know, the big hits are always so entertaining to watch. Through two games, we have an 880 save percentage and a 447 GAA. That is vomit worthy. But let's see if we can pull that back here against the Montreal Canadiens. First period. 1-1 hockey game. Don't you dare. Okay. Thank you. Little four hamburger helper night for Marnsey. Three points from Cooch and third star, no big deal. Oh, spare me the lecture, Jacques Carl. Backtracking pretty quick there, are we? You haven't been that bad. 
What are you saying? What's going on here? Can I not stop a beach ball? Or have I been doing all right? Well, 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 what do we have here? The Ottawa Senators, 3-0-0. Let's see if we can change that. You know what? I'm gonna do this in sort of real time. That's not... Guys, what is going on? All right, screw that. First pe- Hello? Well, I guess they're gonna be 4-0-0. Yeah, get me out of here. What a joke. I see they're also recruiting other former Edmonton Oilers players, at least in this be a pro, in Patrick Kane. I feel like the Senators truly are rent-free right now. But we have the 6-0-0 Colorado Avalanche, first in the NHL. Why are we facing all the best teams at once? First period. Nice. That's solid. Second period. Very nice. Let's jump in. Let's do this thing. We're up by one. Did I play great in my last showing? No. Well, especially not the simulation one against the Senators. That was an eight goal performance. Disgusting. But I was referring to my last time actually playing goalie. We won the game, but I let in two goals that I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Holy. The defense was hustling hard. Let's go around this way. Uh, no! You know what? My team plays out the window, but it was worth it because I just got to see Cop get destroyed. At least I think he got destroyed. To be honest, I kind of took my eyes off of that whole situation as soon as I saw that Colorado was getting the puck because I was trying to get back in the net. All I know is that when I looked back up, Cop was on his butt. And there wasn't a penalty, so that means there was no trip involved. Oh yeah? This is literally the exact play that cost us the Stanley Cup. Whoa! Thank you, Zadorov. Why did TJ slide so far again? I swear it wasn't this touchy before. Risky pass from their netminder. I respect that so much. That wasn't even a good shot. Why were we unable to save that? Why is TJ so bad? You know what? TJ hasn't been the same since that playoff defeat. What a play. Off the boards to Laffy Taffy. Get me the apple. Let's score a goal right now. Okay. It worked. Back to him. If he scores here, I think I get the assist. I don't know why he didn't walk in. They gave him a clear lane. But anyway, what, I'm just a goalie. So we have one game left, and I really hope that that is our best game. Because we need it. We need a confidence booster. TJ has not been great. In the two games we've played so far today. But the team has still managed to prevail in both. Well, shouldn't say that just yet. I'm assuming that we're going to win this game. Even though we're only up by one with seven minutes left. So that's a very bold assumption. I'm just confident in the lads. What can I say? Rasmussen gives it over to Hayes. Walking in. Why was that so dramatic? That should have been the easiest save. And smother or, you know, anything else. Than what you did of all time. Hartman's got it. Goes to Rasmussen. Big glove save. Throw it in the corner. Darnell Nurse. Coughs it up again. <laughs> Amazing. We have not learned our lesson clearly. And no, I'm not just talking about him. I also passed the puck out again. When I maybe shouldn't have. Byram down low. Great defensive play by 1-9. Let's go Marnes. Up the ice. Thought he was about to get teed up there. Kucherov, nice shot. That will be stopped, however. Back to Marnsey. These guys are flying out here right now. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm gonna kill some time. Come get it. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Oh my... What a play. Darnell Nurse? Never. Never will I say anything negative about you again. Blocker save. 25 seconds left. Colorado's net is empty. Zadorov carrying it. Does a little stutter step for some reason and then loses it again. Let's go, Darnie. What a pass. Still can't get out of the zone, though. Or did we? I don't know what happened there. That has to be game. Power play. Five seconds left. Up by one. GG. Absolutely no re. Save percentage probably still taking a bit of a beating. I didn't see how many shots they had coming into that period, and they really didn't get a whole lot during the third period, I don't think. Oh, okay. 
I'll take that. Once again, we have Leon Dreisaitl and the Buffalo Sabres. They had a incredible comeback in the third period last time. Let's see what happens in our rematch. Okay, now we're going to need the incredible comeback, and we don't get it. Why is TJ an absolute block of Swiss cheese right now? I mean, I know our defense aren't great, but come on now. We really need this win. Yeah, thanks for that, Nikita. The Minnesota Wild. Same record as us. It's a big game. Here we go. First period results in a 2-0 lead for your Edmonton Oilers. Second period. Oh, it's done. Don't you even think about it. That's what I thought. We didn't start two games in a row, and they didn't put us in for the game against the 7-1-0 Dallas Stars. We now have a record of 5-5-0. It is a shaky start, to say the least. And now it's time to go up against Washington. First period is 0-0. It is a 1-1 third period start. All right, honestly, the offense has been getting it done. They've been scoring in the third periods, and I have not been doing a wonderful job of stopping the puck. So we need a big performance here so that we can head into the next video with some confidence, even though probably, not probably, but we'll see if I request a trade or not based on your comments. But I have a feeling that the overwhelming response is gonna be to get out of here. If I ask for a trade and the GM tells me to kick rocks again, I swear I am going to lose it. What a save. That was a wonderful play behind the net. Out front for the Clappy. And the Tendi said no thank you. The Tendi tended the goal. That's what they did. Let's go, Borgo. On the attack, Kyler gets a shot off. Rebound was almost ours, but their defense positioned well to prevent that from going in. My positioning there was nothing short of pathetic. And I still managed to make the glove save somehow. Thanks, TJ. Oh, that's one of the biggest hits I've ever seen. Wow. And he has to get off the ice, I guess, because his helmet popped right off. It was a complete yard sale. I feel like just for fun, I should turn up the aggressiveness and the hit power just so we see some outrageous body checks. Connor McMichael goes in the middle, put that one in the oven mitt, and Darnell Nurse makes a splendid pass <laughs> to whoever that was. I don't even care. I just know that Darnell Nurse stopped me from looking like the biggest fool of all time last video. Last video. Wow, I'm losing it, guys. That's a big hit right there. What I meant to say was last game, because last video was actually the video where Darnell Nurse received my pass in the Stanley Cup Final Game 7 and then coughed it up. What a play and what a save again! This Breeling guy is insane. Keep the pressure up. Marnsey goes for a pass, and that will be blocked by their defender. And now Andreas, he's in over the line, goes for a one-touch deke, the patented. Doesn't work, because it never does. Well, that's not true. I'd say it's about a 1 in 10. Are we going to see our first overtime of season whatever season this is? I have lost count. Maybe like 5 or 6? Has, has it been that much already? If I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys, I don't even remember what team we started on. I think it's the hat that I'm wearing, but I could be completely wrong. It's time for overtime. Three on three action for five minutes, but hopefully not five minutes. I would like to see us score before that. Really not down for a shootout right now. I mean, not that I ever am, but especially right now, I just don't feel like it. Yeah? Ooh, that was nifty. He even had me fooled. I thought he was going forehand. One goal on 23 shots. Now that is a good way to close out. So now I'm going to sim up to about 29 games played. And hopefully we have a decent record. My two main critiques of Be a Pro right now are the inability to turn off these super intrusive meetings. Here we go. And also... James, I can't make him zip it. The Bia Pro we have now, I think, is pretty much the same Bia Pro since NHL 21, 22. I don't know if it's been two years or just one, but anyway, they made a huge overhaul to the entire Bia Pro 
and haven't changed anything about it since. You know, I love talking about museums and going to a park with my teammates as much as the next guy, but... After the 20th time, it gets pretty old. How important are matchups with divisional opponents? Yeah, they're important. Sure. So when we get up to the Golden Knights here, that should be the 28 game mark. We are second in the division right now. We've actually been doing pretty good, apparently. I haven't even really been paying attention. So three wins in a row right there. Oh, four actually. And then we also had five wins in a row right here. Okay, so yeah, we kind of been cooking. Actually, you know what? When this video comes out, I will have likely recorded one since. So maybe I'll put out a poll on YouTube instead and have you guys answer that way. But the annoying thing is that even if we do decide to ask for a trade, we might not get it. I also just realized we're not even in for this game. So let's go ahead and sim this one and we will likely be in for the next one. Rookie mistake on my part. Yes, we are in for the next one. So I don't know. I will likely put out a poll or something like that and we'll go from there. But yeah, like the team's doing good. It's kind of repetitive playing for the same team. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.